Morning. <laughs> Just in the middle of a conversation. Morning, with Andrew. Our camera. Well, yeah, it was such an interesting conversation. <laughs> Clearly. So it's actually true. You stole that much. Oh, incredible. Hang on. So. At Bolton again, Old but... Lynx <laughs> for a PJ Players event, and I'll just be doing the roundup afterwards. But I just thought I'd get Andrew on camera because it's been so long. It's been a very long time, Pete. It's been absolutely ages, and you're still looking as handsome and as athletic as ever. Stop it! Stop it! And that's just earned me twenty pounds, uh, which I'm really happy with. So I'm going to grab a coffee. I'm going to do lots of putting before I go out, and just enjoy myself again. And I'm actually playing. With we are, we are playing together. this young, handsome it's individual been a long, as well. Long time, Pete, we played together. When was the last time we played together? Before That's... you abandoned Trafford and I abandoned the apartment, a, a lot's changed. <laughs> a lot of abandoned places in Manchester at this, at this point. <laughs> I, think, I think a psychologist would call it abandonment issues that you've got, Andy. <laughs> right, guys, round is done. And. It was one of the most painful rounds that I've had um, for quite some time that I can remember. Uh, not physically painful, uh, but mentally, mentally it was exhausting today. It really, really was. So I felt pretty comfortable, um, really, if I'm, if I'm being honest with you. The way I was striking it after Hawkston Park, I felt pretty comfortable and pretty ready to play. I didn't have the best preparation in respects that I only got to have a few swings before I went out in a swing room uh, that they have at Bolton Old Links. And I never like hitting into a net or a screen before I play anyway, because you've no idea really where the ball's going. Um, and I didn't fully warm up like I should do. And I hit a really, very dodgy shot off the first and managed to get onto the fairway. Uh, but then hit a good second and made a decent up and down. But today was, again, it was all about putting. It was all about putting. So from a stat standpoint, I'll talk you through some of the main highlights um, as far as they're concerned. <laughs> I hit not as many greens in regulation today. My driving and my tee shots certainly weren't anywhere near as good as they were at Hawkston. Um, one of the reasons why is I think I use my driver a lot more today. There's quite a few par fours which are under 400 yards at Bolton Old Links. And if you get a good drive away, it's only a wedge on. So I was a little bit more attacking off the tee. And generally, even when I did miss, I mean, I only hit 33% of fairways in regulation but I didn't miss many fairways by a lot. There was one on the ninth that I missed by probably the furthest amount and I did find a bit of a bad lie, but generally it wasn't a disastrous off the tee performance. There was a couple of bad shots, but I managed to get away with the bad shots um, more often than not. And I actually hit 72% of greens in regulation. So I hit 72% of greens in regulation, which shows that really when I was getting into a bad lie, it wasn't a bad position off the tee, it wasn't a bad enough lie to not enable me to get to the green. But this is where the issues started to come. So once I got to the green, I made a good up and down on the first, but then I three putted the next green um, after only having a wedge in, then I two putted, then I three putted, then I two putted, and then I four putted on a par five uh, and in total even with one two three four four one puts in the last six holes i had 37 puts in total i had 37 puts in total 22 puts on the front nine um, and all that accounted to a six over 78 i was actually six over going out i managed to uh rally a little bit and only have uh, and be level part on the back nine but honestly today was a real example of the difference between how i've been practicing my putting and what is happening in reality with my putting when i'm on the course the fact is with that betanardi arm lock putter which i've been using in practice it's been going quite well and when i originally used it on the course vlogs when i first started playing again it was okay as well, but under pressure, it just feels very, very uncomfortable to line up, and I just cannot seem to get distance putting right with it at all, and it's, 
it's so frustrating because I think what I've been doing and this is something which is more the mental approach to putting which I've fallen out of sync with since I've not been playing competitions is I'm getting over putts and certainly I was today and I was at Hawkston and you know what without even realizing it I was saying to myself you should be making this put you know you should be putting well you put all this practice in you should be getting this in the hole and the fact is golf does not work like that you can't try and force the issue and it really came out today because at Bolton Old Links the course is uh, relatively tight it's not that long I think it's about 6-4 off the backs but the greens are where the challenge is the greens are very very tight uh, well some of them are quite tight but they've got massive slopes on the, there's hardly ever a time when you play that course where you're actually aiming inside the hole. Even on putts from two to three feet, you're aiming probably a long way outside the hole on quite a few occasions. And I really, really struggled. I just couldn't commit to the lines I was picking. Um, and I was just, I just really struggled today. And, and it was one of the it was one of the few rounds, I think, in a long, long time. And the thing is, I've got to remember, I've only been back a short time, but even going back before I was injured, where I was just so frustrated and I was just so... Yeah, I just felt really, really deflated um, on the course today. And it's such a, it's such a bring and come back to reality after, after the Euro Pro. It was, yeah... So I know where my weakness currently lies. And it's not so much in my stroke mechanics, it's more in what I'm thinking about and how I'm preparing uh, when I'm playing my, playing my putts, hitting my putts. So I need to try and figure that out. Um, I need to try and get that mentality right when I'm on the greens. When I'm in course vlogs and when I'm relaxing during um, normal sociable rounds, my putting generally is pretty decent and it is something where I'm able to look at a target, pick a line and stroke it without much fear and my pace control is normally good. When I'm in competition and these last two competitions that I've played in, that's the problem for me. I'm, I'm not loose, um, not in a careless sense, but I'm not relaxed and I'm not comfortable on the greens at this moment in time. So I need to get that sorted because the fact is even with a normal putting performance today of around 30 putts, you know, I'd have been under par. And again, it's that thing, that slight contrast in my mind that I've been away injured and then I come back and I'm playing pretty well tee to green, hitting some okay shots, but I just can't get the ball in the hole when it, when it matters. And I think that's what I need to figure out is when it matters, how do I switch off that tense part of my play that that desperate want and need to get the ball in the hole that seems to just be holding me back a little bit now the psychology around putting is something i've done uh, things on before and certainly i can remember performances when on the greens when i did get myself out of my own way and i put it very well so it's just recalling those memories recalling how i managed to do that and then figuring it out before the next few weeks where I have some more competitions coming up. Um, I play with Andy uh, Carter today as well, uh, and Johnny who's at uh, Preston, my old golf club, and we all shot 78s, and it was this very similar story. We all just struggled on the greens. Uh, the conditions today, to be fair, were pretty bad as well, um, but that didn't affect how the greens were playing. The greens were rolling well, it's just tricky, just tricky. Right, that's my comeback to reality and my roundup of um, <laughs> of this round. So hopefully I can get that sorted. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on my other social media platforms as well. Uh, a few people asked what app I'm using to record my scores. I'm using Hole19 uh, this year. It's just a nice, simple uh, stats recording device. It's also a bit more like a uh, social network for golfers as well and I'm doing that all post round so yeah I, I don't really know what else to say I'm just gonna have to go away and think a little bit more about how I'm approaching my putts and trying to figure out what putter to use because it's it's just clear from the last couple of comps that 
I'm not comfortable with the arm lock uh, when there's some pressure on. It just it just didn't feel right. So, uh, figure it out. Eh? Okay, see you next time.